Hi, Selena. Thank you for sponsoring us. Visit Bali soon. Bye. I wanted to talk about where we are at the moment. This is, this is the Bunja of Tarot in Dencharik. And in fact, this is the first Bunja we ever started the Education in the Village programs in. And this was in, I think, 2004, we started with 40 scholarship students in this village. This village, like many of the others you see in the mountains, the mountain villages rely on harvesting, working as labourers in the clove fields, in the clove orchards. Here it's about grapes and as you can see we're surrounded by grape vines. Can we see the grapes? They're coming along very well. It's going to be a nice harvest of grapes this year. So the children we look after in this village are the children of the people who harvest the grapes. As well as the children on the flatlands where the grapes are. This, this um, bunja also goes up in the hills where it starts to get dry and more arid. So the children are a mix of on the plains and, and part of the way up into the foothills. The 40 students who started in 2004, it took till 2008 to get our first graduates. We had two year 12 graduates, both went to university and both completed their university. And just from then on, we just kept having more and more graduates each year, more and more students at university, and it's come to the time now where we've got 8,000 children on the program, uh, 1,100 on scholarship. I think we've got 165 children in year 12 this year. So it's just kept going to scale. But the work we do is, is basically the same. Scholarships for the poor kids, English for everyone in the remote areas, and now we're adding STEM and other forms of learning. The latest today we looked at was creative, was reading, creative writing and illustration. So it's been a great journey and as I was in this village, I thought it was a fantastic idea just to say something about the village and its importance to Bali Children Foundation. Thank you.